Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have another update rolling out for the Edge web browser for desktop, which Microsoft made available on the 27th of April, once again late yesterday in my region. And if you'd like to double check if you have the update, as always, we head to the menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And the latest version in bold has been bumped up to version 112.0.1722.64, once again, just another point release, uh, which moves us up now from point 58 to point 64. And uh, this is now the actual fifth point release update that has rolled out for version 112, since 112 was released on the 6th of April earlier this month. And out of the five point releases that we have received, this is now the fourth maintenance update, which Microsoft says fixes various bugs and performance issues. Uh, for the stable and extended stable release so and uh, once again if you have experienced any issues in the browser just double check it's up to date as this update may resolve the issue and you have, if you are not seeing the update as yet microsoft does mention that it will roll out progressively over one or more days now with the maintenance update out of the way something else i've noticed um since updating that i didn't see there yesterday and i've only noticed after this point release update rolled out to my browser overnight is if we head to the appearance section and we scroll down to where we get um, all our little uh, shortcuts that we can add to the toolbar in the browser here is a new shortcut learning toolkit button which seems to be on a controlled rollout now you may have seen this or you may have not but i've only noticed this new shortcut button and feature after upgrading to this latest point release update and i'm not noticing this on my windows 10 device so this seems to be on a controlled rollout and if we toggle that on and we head back to our toolbar yeah we can see we get a new learning toolkit and if we click on that basically what it is is it just seems to be uh, tutorials as they say learning toolkit about different features um, of microsoft edge and microsoft services so um, personally, I just consider this maybe to be bloatware. I wouldn't really find this um, of use um, for maybe a new user or um, someone who's come over from another browser to Microsoft Edge. It may be of benefit, but personally, um, I'd, I would just consider this to be bloatware. And yeah, you can see you get different uh, tutorials where you can learn more, as they say, about different um, aspects and components of the Edge browser. So um, just to basically sum this all up for this feature, um, yeah, we can see we get Microsoft 365, the Math Solver, PDF Reader, Immersive Reader, Read Aloud, and Citations, which are all um, bundled into the Edge browser by default. So, um, as mentioned, maybe of benefit if you are um, a new user to the browser. And then something else uh, just to take note of is um, we are expecting the next major release of Edge for Desktop to roll out uh, next week. So, if we head to the calendar... And um, we can expect Edge version 113 to start rolling out from the 4th next week, Thursday. And I would suggest that would progressively roll out um, into and towards the weekend. So Edge version 113, our next stable release rolling out next week. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.